Hey guys, how's it going? So today, I thought we could do a little uh, get ready with me. I wanna show you my look for quarantine, okay? I realize that most of us aren't wearing makeup, me too. Why is my skin still garbage? Don't know, couldn't tell you. But on the days where I'm like, okay, <laughs> yes, we haven't been wearing makeup, but like, I don't want y'all to forget. I'm still a bad bitch deep down. It's just like, extenuating circumstances that have brought us to where we are today, but like, I just need to, to like, put on a show every once in a while so that Matt's like, oh right, that's why we wed. And then that's, and then I guess Alyssa too would be like, nice makeup today, Sam, and I'd be like, thanks everyone. <laughs> just glad we didn't forget <laughs> what I'm capable of. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna show you guys today, my kind of go-to look lately. So let's, uh, let's do it now, okay. Okay, so let me get some concealer on my eyeballs. Uh, by the way, guys, I ordered some um, makeup. I ordered some makeup from Revolve because I feel like every time I go on this like new arrivals on Sephora, it's like not, nothing's arriving quickly enough for me right now. Probably because I'm checking it every single day. And also because I feel like those fucking Rihanna um, cream blushes and bronzers were announced so fucking long ago. That feels like <laughs> decades ago. But they're not out till the 17th. So like I keep checking being like, it must be the 17th by now. And only a day has passed since the last time I checked and it's not yet the 17th. So anyways, uh, I went on to Revolve and I ordered some new things. So I'll do a video on those new goodies when I get it. One of the things, someone had asked, uh, a couple of people had tweeted at me, um, asking about the, please hold. Oh yeah, I ordered toothpaste. What the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, I ordered the uh, Ilia Skin Tint, Super Serum Skin Tint. A couple of people had asked me about that, so. I tried to order from brands I don't normally order from as much and some new products and stuff. So hopefully it'll be good. I feel almost like this is like flipped. It's probably not. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put a little bit of a uh, skin tone shadow more so over my crease so that I don't uh, crease. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab, um, yeah, I am. I'm gonna grab that shade right there. Oh wow, Inception. I'm gonna grab that shade right there. This is the uh, Natasha Denona palette that I put together. Where's that shade from? I just don't know. I think it actually might be from the Lila palette if I recall correctly. Everyone was like, why in God's name wouldn't you like write down where they came from? I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm gonna take maybe, yeah, I'll take a Sigma uh, E47 brush. I'm gonna grab that on the very tippity top of that brush and I'm kind of looking down into my mirror because I'm gonna go very lightly along my eye socket. So not my crease, my crease is like here, above it where my actual socket is. And I'm just kind of sketching that out with this smaller brush first. Doing my little outer V. And then once I have way less product on my brush, like at the very, very end, I kind of drag it more into that center inner corner just so that I'm not getting a super harsh line there. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of a fluffier brush, perhaps this one, and I'm gonna grab that same color actually. Well, hold on, do I wanna grab this weird color that I have selected over here? Eh, I'll dip a little bit. I'm taking this kind of weird grayish color. I'm gonna dip in there and a little bit in the color that we used before on this little blendy brush. It's from Hakuhodo. I don't know why, why do you guys like when I say Hakuhodo? I don't know. Because sometimes I don't realize that I say words weird because people are like, you're so Canadian. But I don't feel like I'm saying it any differently. So I don't know if that's something that I'm saying weird because I'm Canadian or if I'm just, or if it's just a pleasant word in general. You tell me. Anyways, I'm just really, <laughs> I'm just really lightly uh, blending over top of that with my little mixture. And same thing, like I'm not trying to take too much of that color into my inner corner so that it's like super heavy over there. Okay, I'm taking a little uh, shader brush and a really light concealer, and I'm going to do a little cut crease action, sort of, kind of. Let me show you. So I'm just loading that up on my brush, and then I'm gonna take it 
down the center. Whoops, I didn't load it up that much. And this also isn't as light of a concealer as I thought. Okay, taking it right down the center and then I'm wiping off the excess of that brush. So I'm just trying to make like a little bit of a, uh, sorry, I have to focus. I'm just trying to make a little bit of a light spot down the center of my lid so that we can kind of use a lighter shadow to create, you know, some depth to this look. This is such a piss off, I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna use this one singular color from this Pat McGrath palette. This is the Midnight Sun one. It's this uh, kind of shimmery shade up here. It looks like the most like, who gives a fuck shade. I just can't explain. I can't explain. When you like look at like a model's makeup and there's just like this light like shimmer, but it's not like super glittery. It's just like this like light sheen and you're like, but could it be that that's just how they naturally, you know, sweat from their eyelids or something? I don't know. That's the appearance that this eyeshadow gives. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up on that same little brush and I'm gonna bring that right down to the center of my lid because I don't want shimmer over this whole situation. I just want it a little bit down the center so that the look feels a little bit more, you know, it has a little more something, something to it. I just love it. Cause it's like one of those like shimmers that it doesn't have like a whole ton of impact, but when you like catch it from the right light, it just looks so, so pretty. I can't even describe it. I have been describing it. So I'm such a way with words. It's like one of those, <laughs> I can't let it go. It's like one of those shadows that like, if I wasn't wearing like eye makeup, or I wasn't intending to do eye makeup, it would be kind of nice to just like take that right down the center of the lid, like just like quickly with your finger, just to like give it some, you know, something. I love it. That's it. Oh, it's so pretty when you catch from the right light. You're just gonna have to believe me. And then I'm gonna do a winged liner. So I'm gonna take my little brush and a liner. This is a uh, Smith 205 brush. And we're gonna, we can follow this like little thing that we've kind of mapped out for ourselves. Sorry, this whole look takes a lot of concentration. Okay, so I'm doing it like pretty elongated and then I'm gonna clean up the bottom when I feel like it. And then when I get into the inner corner, I just sort of like almost stamp my brush rather than trying to get like a super nice thin straight line. I just kind of go like boop, boop, boop. When you have a liquid liner like that where like you can kind of like pull it out of the well, I like putting it onto my brush first because I feel like I always get a way crisper application and I feel like I have more control over it than if I'm going right from that uh, little doodad. I really have been like getting back into winged eyeliner lately, man. I had took some time off from that life. That used to be like my signature thing and then I was like, eh, fuck it. That's not my signature thing anymore. I don't know who I am. And uh, now we're back. I'm gonna take a little brush of sorts. Yeah, I'm gonna take a Smith uh, 304 brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of a uh, brush cleaner, or not brush cleaner, sorry, makeup remover. And I'm gonna grab that makeup remover. Definitely don't use brush cleaner, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of that makeup remover on this petite brush because we're not wearing any other makeup yet. And that's how I'm cleaning up my little bottom half. If you already have your makeup on, you can always use like a concealer for this, but uh, I always think it turns out a little bit sharper when I just do my liner before the rest of my face makeup so that I can remove it with a makeup remover like this. And then I'm gonna take one little liner pen. I'm using the M Cosmetics one. I take my winged eyeliner seriously, guys, okay? And I'm just gonna do one final kind of like sweep over this. The other thing I was gonna say about using this little method, make sure that your brush isn't like loaded up with makeup remover. You just need a little bit because if your brush is too wet, then it can kind of just get all over the place and cause a real mess. Do I keep going for this, trying to make it what I want it to be? Or do I let it go? I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna exercise some self-restraint. This is the look. I like doing it from the, uh, doing that kind of blending in the eye socket instead of the crease because it kind of like opens that eye up and it feels really like, kind of like a Marilyn Monroe situation, especially when you go like this. What are you doing over there? Playing Animal Crossing? 
How in debt are you? To Tom Nook. Because I know I'm fucking in debt. Okay, anyway. I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara. I'm going to put on my lashes. And then we can carry on with our life. Okay? BRB. Let's put the rest of our makeups on. I'm going to grab uh, my thing. My handy dandy Becca shit. It's fresh. Love it. By the way. Because I don't say it that often, and a couple of people have been asking me lately, I use the shade Light to Medium. So there's only two shades of that um, under eye corrector. Light to Medium, Medium to Dark, or Deep. It, uh, what a shame. <laughs> what a crying shame. Um, but I will say that I, 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 I do know that there are a few um, people that are like similar to like my skin tone that use the dark one. So if you like have that one kicking around, you probably could get away with it, which is, I don't know, that kind of just shows how abysmal that shade line truly is. So just keep that in mind, should you have deeper skin and you are wanting to order that, probably not the best idea. Uh, okay, I'm gonna grab my, uh... yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do my Hourglass Concealer. And I'm using the color Shell, Silk. Shells their foundation, I think. And I'm just gonna take that right underneath my eyeballs. Uh, I'm not gonna take that in other areas just yet, even though I desperately need it, um, because I'm gonna use this, I'm giving this foundation a second chance right now. And I can't remember like how intense the coverage is. So I'm gonna try the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. We'll see how it goes. And I am shade light three in this one. I think, oh, we're gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna use my Smith 157 brush and I'm gonna grab a little bit of that. I think I'm gonna try this last time with a uh, sponge, so I'm gonna give it a shot with the brush. I can't remember why I didn't like it either, but I know that a lot of other people really, really liked it, so I'm giving it another go. Damn, that's pretty light. I realize I'm pretty light, but let me see how this is going on with my shit. This seems doable. This has such a different scent to it. And then I'm gonna take my little sponge and I'm gonna just push that in. It's not like the most high coverage, hey? Okay, okay, I can work with this. Oh, by the way, let's just like get this out there because a, a few people have asked me and I feel like this is like, you know, it's like, it's all fun and games, but like at some point we need to like get down to what really matters, which is better. Animal Crossing Stardew Valley. This is what people have asked, okay? I am a woman of the people. You know, I, I care to investigate on your behalf so that you can be an informed consumer in the realm of your video game choices. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Price, okay? Stardew Valley is like cheap as hell right now, all right? It's like, I think $16 on Switch and then like $6 maybe on uh, like iPad and your phone and shit like that. I'm pretty sure that I paid like maybe $12 or something like that for uh, Animal Crossing. Or sorry, sorry, whoa, I wish for uh, Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley was pretty cheap for me. Animal Crossing's 80 goddamn dollars. I tweeted about this and everyone was like, have I already bitched about this online? I can't remember. Well, I'm bitching about it again. Everyone was like, you obviously don't buy video games that much. Man, man, man. Okay, this is a children's game. <laughs> like, I understand that we all as adults really enjoy it, but like, I was like, oh, this is like a cute little like kids game. I was expecting it to be like $30. That shit was like $90 after tax, Canadian. <laughs> so uh, that's quite the leap. So I don't know. Some of us are already just like budget wise, Animal Crossing isn't gonna happen for us. So then we just like have to lean on Stardew Valley, you know, which is not a bad thing at all. Stardew Valley was like the time of my life. This is what I will say. Animal Crossing is like simply divine. What a treat, okay? It's very lovely. It's very relaxing. I can't believe how fucking in debt I am. I hate games that I <laughs> am in debt in real life and then I'm in debt in like this fucking video game life as well. I can't even have like this dream life over there. But anyways, it's fine. I'm fishing like a motherfucker, okay, to pay off my debts. So Animal Crossing, I really, really enjoy. What I will say is that like, I don't want to, but I can put down Animal Crossing. The same could not be said for my Stardew Valley career, okay? I, I 
couldn't sleep. I was restless because I wanted to play Stardew Valley still. Like, and I, I used to, in like my younger years, <laughs> I'm so, oh, I'm not 26, I'm 27. Oh my God, I just cannot believe this keeps happening to me. Every year I fucking age, it's, it's insane. Anyway, I used to like stay up later and be like more of a night owl and stuff like that. But at this point in my life, I'm like, I'm fine to go to bed at like 10, 30, 11. You know, it doesn't bother me even slightly. I was staying up to like one, two in the morning with Stardew Valley and I would not fall asleep. I would just read the, the wiki, the Stardew Valley wiki to like fall asleep because I didn't want to like let it go. And then I would wake up and play it and play it and play it. And like at one point, this was before quarantine, um, Matt was like test driving a car and I like brought my iPad with me so that I could keep playing Stardew Valley. Like I, I, I got nothing done. I, I mean, I got plenty done in the game, but I could not do anything else. Whereas like Animal Crossing, I can put down and I can walk away from. I think one of the biggest reasons is that Animal Crossing, there's going to be so many people watching this video, like I don't fucking give a shit at all. And there's going to be 12 people like, yeah, um, <laughs> Animal Crossing is real time. So whatever time it is in real life, that's what time it is in the fucking game. So a day is a fucking day. So you have more time to kind of like play and dick around because like you know that things aren't getting done until the next day. Whereas with Stardew Valley, you, <laughs> I'm so serious about this. Whereas with Stardew Valley, you, uh, the days last like maybe like 10 real life minutes or something like that. So like you got shit to get done. Is it 10 minutes or is it 20? Doesn't matter. Anyways, it's not even moderately close to real time. So it makes it a lot easier to like binge it because you can just keep starting a new day and keep starting a new day and keep starting a new day because you can go to sleep whenever you want and like accelerate the day. So because of that, like if you, let's say you were like building a new building or like you were waiting for a day where you had better luck so you could go mining or whatever the fuck, you can just sleep and sleep and sleep. <laughs> you can sleep through seasons um, to get to like other types of like if you need different types of fruit or whatever, you can like sleep through all these seasons. Whereas with Animal Crossing, like you can like time travel, you can change the time on your, uh, on your shit. But I did it and I felt really guilty. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. And then I was on yesterday and uh, I like visited someone's island. They're like a subscriber of mine. I believe her name's Kaylin. They're a subscriber of mine. And I was on their island and she was like showing me around and stuff like that. And I was like, damn, your island's fucking lit, bro. And she was like, <laughs> she was like, don't be afraid to time travel. Cause like I tweeted about it being like, I feel so fucking guilty. Like I changed the clock forward and then I immediately had to go back and change it back. Cause I felt so fucking bad. And she was like, don't be afraid to time travel. It's okay. <laughs> Trying to like <laughs> relax me into being okay with time traveling, but I'm still, I just don't know where I'm at with it. You know, I'm just still not the most comfortable anyways. Okay. I'm going to use my, uh, I'm going to use this. This is not uh, cruelty free, but I just, Damn, I love the smell of that. I don't know why. Um, this is the uh, Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, which I've had for a super long time and I just like haven't been using it at all. So I just dug it out the other day. I'm gonna use that now on my face with this brush. Okay, I'm taking that on my Elf 105 brush. I don't know about this. I'm gonna have to really spend some time like blending this into my alabaster skin. So anyways, in conclusion, my complaints about Stardew Valley are, why does everyone need goddamn gifts to be my friend? No, yeah, Stardew Valley, yes. Why does everyone need gifts to be my goddamn friend? Okay, what happened to like the language of like love in talking? Why can't we like talk about our feelings? Why do I have to express it through fucking oranges? You know, that pisses me off, but it is like avoidable. You don't have to like, interact with people in the game if you don't really feel like it. My main gripes with Animal Crossing is that it's real time, which fucking sucks, and I can't handle the shame and guilt that comes along with uh, time travel. And also, holy fuck, I wish I could skip <laughs> all the shit that they say. Like, any time you catch a fish, it says the exact same horrific pun every single time. It can't just be that you just catch a fish and they're like, dope. Carry on, man. Catch that next fish. They're like, <laughs> what are they? What's one that's like so bad? They're all fucking bad. Like when you catch a squid, they say, do they not actually say bloop? 
or like you catch a tiger beetle and they're like, I pounced first. <laughs> fucking kill me. And even when you talk to like whoever, like anybody you talk to in the game, you have to like go through this whole fucking song and dance. You can't just be like, I want a motherfucking fly bitch. Okay. I don't want to sit here and chit chat about it. Yes. I have my tools. I've flown like 8 billion times in this game. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Just put me on that fucking plane. You know, <laughs> these are my complaints. <laughs> And the price, and the, it's obviously super, super expensive, so that kind of is uh, shitty. But um, Stardew Valley, I think, for the price, is like endless fun. Like, I had so much fun with that game. Um, the only thing is that, like, they, there isn't a ton of, like, end game content. So, like, basically, once you finish, like, a lot of the main quests and stuff like that, there isn't a whole lot to do, but it's always changing. It's developed by one guy. He's the only person that's, like, ever updating it, but he updates it all the time. So, I think that's, like, just, like, a great way to spend time for fairly cheap. Um, Animal Crossing, from what I understand so far and what I've experienced so far, there's, like, significantly more to do, and there's just, like more to work towards kind of thing. And because it's real time, you're obviously going to be spending quite a bit more time on that in general. That's kind of convenient, especially given the uh, situation we're all in right now. I'm just taking this bronzer basically all over my face at this point. So that that's my review. I think both are great. <laughs> Do both if you can. But I would start with uh, Stardew Valley and just like live your life and really experience the love because it's strong. And I will say with Animal Crossing, I went in being like, this is fucking stupid. Like I didn't want to love it because I like loved Stardew Valley so much. <sighs> but here we are now I love it and I wish I was playing, but I'm not, I'm recording a video and that's fine too. I really enjoy this as well. <laughs> but you know, I just have like inclines to build and shit. My island relies on me. None of these bitches do shit all. Anytime that I need to build a motherfucking bridge, Okay, they're like, that's gonna be $168,000. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, first of all? And they're like, we're taking donations from the island. From fucking who? Because I know for a damn fact, Flora over there isn't paying shit into this bridge. She's gonna use it. She's not gonna pay for it. I have to fucking pay for it. It's on me, it's on my shoulders. The whole fucking universe is on my shoulders. We want a bridge, Sam, no problem. Let me fucking catch some butterflies about it, okay? Christ, just is what it is, you know? Okay, uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow underneath my eyeballs. How about that? I hope I just talked you into those games because honestly, it is like a really great way to spend time. Divine, okay. And then I'm going to, uh, what else am I gonna do here? Maybe I'll put on a little bit of blush to like really amplify this situation. Maybe I'll use a little bit of my flower uh, blush balm in the color Pinched. I'm taking that on my beauty blender. That doesn't look like shit on camera. It's very like subtle, but I enjoy it a lot. Okay. And then uh, you know what I've been using lately for like not a highlight, but like a little bit of a highlight situation? Ah. Um, the uh, Becca Light Shifter Brightening Concealer. I know a lot of people aren't really loving this as concealer. I think it's pretty nice, but it is quite like dewy, so I can understand why people wouldn't be into it, but I've noticed that it's really nice as like a super quick, kind of like subtle little gentle highlight, you know? I quite like it. Especially on the days where I feel like I don't wanna like go like full fucking balls to the wall with a real highlight, but it is one little something so the world knows I'm alive. Yeah, that's it. I'll put on my beauty mark, and then I'm gonna jump off to do my brows because nobody wants to sit through that, honestly. That's the truth of the matter. But they do wanna sit through me putting on a beauty mark. Where is that fucking brush? Hey, hey, what order is it? Oh, it's an Amazon order. I, for some reason, thought that was gonna be a revolve order even though, right? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know why I thought that would be my revolve order because I ordered it literally last night while I was half asleep. Okay, let me jump off, do my brows, and then we'll jump back and figure out like a lip situation together. Okay, let's do our lips. Uh, I'm gonna use this uh, lip pencil. It's from MAC, not cruelty free, obviously. In Whirl, the shade Whirl. Should I like, eh, I'll just go like this. How about that? I kind of want to do like a uh, sort of like deeper nude. Whirl looks so red on me, man. How fuck that looks. Not the lip pencil, but the, well, yeah, the lip pencil. 
someone the other day commented because like for anyone that's not in the know I'm not like really a lip pencil type of person I have like shit tons of lip pencils but I rarely use them uh and so I said in a video like a while ago that I was trying to like get use out of my lip pencils um <laughs> and someone commented the other day and they were like Sam, I noticed that you've been using your lip pencils and I congratulate you or something like that. And I was like, thank you. This one person's been paying attention. Uh, but my lips are so fucking like pale naturally that I really have no right to not be using lip pencils, you know? The only problem with me and lip pencils is like I just, once I start, I can't stop. Okay, but I need to. I'm gonna use this uh, color from Urban Decay, it's in the shade 1993, my birth year. I'm gonna take off a little bit of that. And I'm going to put this on. Yeah, that's kind of more so like what I was looking for. And then I'm gonna blot that on this dirty tissue. I'm gonna clean that up. And then I'm gonna take this uh, lipstick from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics in the shade Famous. Oh wow, there's such a dog hair in that in like the worst way. And I'm gonna put that over top. It's a real 90s look we got going on here. But that's it, I think. Right? All right, guys, that's everything for me. Thanks so much for hanging out and chatting. Hey, Kumagia. Yeah? Come here. Come here, come here. She took her dog. She came to say goodbye. She came to say goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, you're beautiful. Anyway, okay, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you next time. I hope your uh, week's going well. Okay, bye. <laughs>